I did have delicious lines. Um, they really wrote me well. Um, Kalista was childlike. I am childlike. I mean, you can't separate the actor from the character. I mean, obviously, I'm, <laughs> I can't fry you with my finger right now, but there, of course there's similarities. There has to be. And I am really childlike. I love to play and have fun. I love doing the fight scenes. The fight scenes were probably my favorite things to do um, because I love dance so much. I love salsa dancing. And those fight scenes are choreographed dance scenes. And they were, your heart starts pumping, your adrenaline kicks in. It's a dance to take the hits, to give the hits. They're just, they're beautiful and they're fun. What did you think you were doing? This girl's gotta have some fun. She's just so powerful on screen and I always, she always makes me laugh even when it's ho just horrid what she, whatever her character's doing. She's so entertaining, right? You can't take your eyes off her. And was the perfect foil to Xena because Hudson's a very strong actress and um, had such great instincts. I, I don't imagine Kalista was like this perfect little farm child who was like so sweet and like Gabrielle. I'm sure she was like a little ragamuffin in the mud causing problems, you know, stealing stuff. I'm sure she wasn't this angel, but she was just an ordinary human kid, you know, she was a kid. She was probably a little bit of a scrapper, but I think when her whole family was destroyed by Xena, um, she had nowhere to focus her energy on, and she had no love coming in, no guidance. She was left without anybody, so her focus became Xena. And her obsession started, it started warping. I mean, she lo really lost her sense of reality. She, she hated Xena, and she loved Xena. She wanted, I think she probably even thought that she was similar to Xena. She's the one person that you would believe could absolutely outsmart smart Xena. I think Xena saw a lot of herself in Callisto, I imagine. That they were, they were very much equals and you wouldn't necessarily, you wouldn't know who's going to win. And that was probably painful and fascinating to both of them.